Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to continue tasting the current 24 MRE menus. Pretty exciting because today is one of the few breakfast menus. So stay tuned for menu number 20, hash brown potatoes with bacon, onions, and peppers. Thanks for watching. Alright, so here is menu number 20. Uh, production date on this one is the 179th day of 2018. Let's see if we can get this thing open. There we go. To start off as usual, we've got our main dish. This is hash brown potatoes with bacon. We also have our cardboard sleeve, which we'll use with our FRH. Put that right there. Hopefully we get some new items since it's breakfast. We've got Apple turnover shelf stable. That's new. Oh, excellent. We've got a mountain house dehydrated granola with blueberries. That's always good. Over here, we've got some jalapeno cashews. Those are good. An old staple. We've got cheese spread. And of course, along with that, as usual, we got some crackers. Along with the always present beverage bag if we need it, and FRH. We've got our MRE spoon. All right, good deal. We've got beverage base orange type three. That's always pretty good. Now let's check out our accessory pack. We've got our salt packet, coffee instant type two, along with some creamer, toilet paper, sugar, moist towelette, MRE matches, and two pieces of gum. So that's what we get inside of menu number 20. As usual, we're gonna start getting our main meal heated up with the FRH. We're gonna get our beverages made, and we're gonna get everything on into a tray. So we'll start with our drinks. You can hear, maybe hear my water boiling up next to us for coffee. This is orange beverage base type three, sugar-free, calls for 20 ounces of water. Next comes our coffee. This is Coffee Instant Type Two. It is a freeze-dried coffee that if you've followed the channel, no, I don't like too much. We've also got some creamer along with it. Put that in there. Calls for eight ounces of water. Got that about eight ounces right here. So we've got our orange beverage base and our coffee. Those are our two drinks. Cover this up, put it aside, and let's start getting some stuff onto a tray. I'm gonna start with the granola because I need to get that just reconstituting a little bit. It probably won't take very long. Let's try to get this thing open. It says on here basically that we need to obviously remove the oxygen scavenger inside, add two to four ounces, stir and consume promptly. So we're gonna go ahead and add about three ounces right down the middle. Let's get that little oxygen absorber out. There you go, you see lots of blueberries. Let's add our water. Again, it said two to four, so I'll cut it in the middle, add three. Give that a good stir. We're gonna let that sit for just a few minutes while we get the rest of our stuff going. All right, we're gonna open up these jalapeno cashews. We've had these before, and they're quite good. We've got this apple turnover shelf stable. I would imagine this is like a Pop-Tart, but let's find out. Sort of. Not necessarily like a Pop-Tart. Kind of looks like the Shelf Stable Cinnamon Roll. Smells like apple pie. That's kind of nice. We'll put that over here. So we've got our cheese and our crackers. I probably, if I had this meal, I would probably save the cheese and crackers for later in the day as a snack or something a little bit later on. But we're gonna go ahead and get it out since we're trying everything. Make sure you need your cheese as normal. Let's get our crackers out. Oh, we've got some cracker crummage. That doesn't happen very often as far as your cracker kind of crumbing up on you. Put this one over here. Let's kind of put our crumbs there. Let's get our cheese. We're gonna put cheese on this one and leave this one plain to eat with the hash browns. You know, the hash browns would be interesting to see how it turns out. What makes hash browns so good is the crispiness, and of course you're not gonna get crispiness in an MRE, so it'll be interesting to see how it tastes. Let's get a little bit of cheese spread onto our cracker here. There we go. Now our granola has been sitting for literally the amount of time that we've been getting this other stuff, so probably just a couple of minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and get it out. It says to eat it fairly quickly, so I don't wanna let it sit very long. You can definitely see that it's blueberry, huh? Kind of Smurf colored. I would imagine that it tastes 
fresher than a lot of the other stuff just because of the blueberries. All right, let me grab our hash browns. So the hash browns are decently warm. We're going to throw them out here. This is hash browns with bacon, peppers, and onion. All right, pretty much what you would expect it to look like. Certainly doesn't look bad. Well, there we go. Quite the spread. I mean, like I said, a lot of times it seems like you don't get a lot of food with some of these MREs. This one is clearly quite a bit of food, so pretty nice. We're gonna start with our drinks as usual. We're gonna take down some of our coffee just to say we did. This coffee instant type two uh, traditionally has not been the best. It's uh, very bitter. The creamer does help. We'll give it a try. Yeah, I don't know. It's not as bad, it seems like. I used a little bit less water this time, and it seemed to work out a little bit better. So maybe a little bit less water. Still not good, but tolerable. This is our orange beverage base. Most of the drinks, I would say universally, the drinks on all of these MREs overall have been very good, except for the grape electrolyte, which if you've seen some of the ones where I've tried that, wasn't good. But something like this orange beverage base is really good. It tastes a lot like Tang or Gatorade, something like that. Yeah, it's good. You know, just the same comforting flavor. I think we'll start with our jalapeno cashews. We've tried these before, and they're very good. I mean, if these are these in stores, because they're good. I would eat them in a minute. They have a very nice flavor of jalapeno, but they are not overly spicy at all. In fact, I would say they're not they're not spicy. But that's good because it doesn't take away that jalapeno flavor. Really, really good stuff. Let's try a piece of our cracker with cheese. We've had this on many, many MREs, okay? It's very good. The cheese is like Cheese Whiz. The crackers, I kind of relate to those Keebler crackers in the green tin, and they're usually pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. I think a lot of times I've spoken about this in other videos, but familiar flavors, I think, are what really would make a difference, for me at least, if I was out on patrol and wanted some food. And Cheese Whiz is familiar for everybody, right? All right, let's try the granola. This is probably the most interesting part of this. This is just a straight up Mountain House granola. I've actually never had the Mountain House granola with blueberries. I bet you it's good though. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a winner right there. Blueberries have just rehydrated up. The granola still has a little bit of crunch, but not too much. Lots of dry milk in there. It tastes really creamy. Blueberry flavor is right on, not overly strong, not artificial at all, of course, because you've got real blueberries, so that's really nice. That is good stuff. Well, let's try the potatoes next. Um, we'll leave our apple turnover for dessert, quote unquote, even though this would uh, qualify as dessert. So this again is hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. They're gonna have to pull off the hash browns without the crunchiness, which is what makes hash browns so good, right? Mm, it's good. Kind of tastes like corned beef hash in a weird way. I wish my FRH would have worked a little bit better. I, I, I rushed it and didn't activate it as well as I should have, so it's a little bit cold. And I've also been sitting here a little while. But the flavors are good. The potatoes aren't mushy. They keep their, their texture. They're good. The bacon flavor is a little bit artificial, of course, but it tastes good. The peppers, the onions, overall a very good meal. Not what you would call hash browns, because of course I'm thinking Waffle House, if you don't have a Waffle House where you are. Uh, sorry, go ahead and head back down south and get yourself from Waffle House. If you're thinking Waffle House, crispy hash browns, that's not what you're getting, but the flavors are very good. Let's finish off our meal with the apple turnover. Uh, we're gonna open this up. I imagine it probably has some apple, like apple pie filling on the inside. Yep, there it is, exactly what you would expect. It smells like an apple pie, just a little bit tart, a little bit artificial smelling. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, that's a very strong flavor of apple pie filling, and it's very good. I mean, it tastes like one of those store-bought uh, shelf stable apple pies. That's exactly what it tastes like. Not really my cup of tea, but as far as flavor goes, it's excellent. Like a lot of this meal. You know what guys, this has been a very, very good meal. I've been looking forward to it because it is a breakfast item and there aren't many of those menus in the MREs. So let me finish up a little bit and we'll talk about what we think and give it a rating. So that's a look at menu number 20. And you know, a lot of these meals get kind of repetitive. This one is not. It is a breakfast menu, which is great. Something a little bit different. We're gonna go through all the different components now and give it a rating. Now the way we do that is a rating scale from one to 10. One is food that I would hesitate to give to my dog. A five is food that's tolerable, but I wouldn't call it enjoyable. And a 10 of course is food that I would eat any day of the week, no questions asked. Those are very hard to come by. Like I mentioned, this meal seems to have a lot of food associated with it, which is kind of nice. Sometimes you get this spread and you're like, that's it? I mean, that's all I get and this time it's like, just a bounty of food, which is wonderful. We'll start with our drinks. The coffee is always a five in my book, a five out of 10. It's not very good. It is exactly what my criteria says. 
tolerable, but not enjoyable. Orange beverage base is something that I would drink at home. It's very, very good. I'll give it an eight. That's what I usually give it, and it's a very, very good beverage base. Starting with our food, we'll look at the jalapeno cashews. Once again, I really like these jalapeno cashews. First of all, I like cashews. I like the flavor of jalapeno. I like some spice. I'm like a moderate spice person. I don't like it super hot. I'm not into that, you know, crying and tearful thing. It's so hot, it's miserable. But I like some heat. These really don't have any heat, but the flavor is excellent. I've always given the jalapeno cashews a nine, and that's the same this time. Moving over to our cheese and crackers. The crackers are ho-hum crackers. We give them a seven. There's nothing special about them. Do wish they had a little bit of salt. That would make them a little bit better. The cheese spread itself, like I said, tastes a lot like Cheese Whiz. When they add the jalapenos with the cheese spread or the bacon with the cheese spread, it really elevates it. But just by itself, the cheese spread is a seven. Now the granola with blueberries was very good and not surprising. It has Mountain House right there on the label. I've had lots of Mountain Houses over the years and overall they're pretty darn good. When you dehydrate something, you're able to keep a lot of those flavors in. I think that you might lose if you cook them and you put them into a retort pouch, they kind of get muddied and not as good. But this was excellent. Absolute breath of fresh air to get something that tastes fresh. You rehydrate those blueberries, they taste almost fresh. The dehydrated milk that I'm sure is in there really helps. Just a nice creamy flavor. We're gonna give the granola with blueberries an eight. Next, we're gonna talk about the hash browns. The hash browns are difficult because you want that crispiness to a hash brown. So it's really not hash browns the way we expect it. It's more like just a stewed potato dish. And for what it is, it's very good. The potatoes kept their shape and texture very well. They were not mushy at all, so it didn't turn into like mashed potatoes. The bacon was a little bit, of course, off in flavor. It doesn't taste like fresh bacon, but the onions, the peppers, all of it was quite good. And it turns out to be just a really nice, savory dish. I'm gonna give the hash browns an eight. I thought they were quite good. I can imagine out in the field when you're hungry, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, this kind of savory meal really would hit the spot. Lastly, we have our shelf-stable apple turnover, and that is exactly what it is. If you go down to the local Circle K or Quick Trip, whatever it might be, pick yourself up one of those apple pies that's just shelf-stable there on the shelf, grab it and eat it. The only difference between that and this is those tend to have a lot more filling. This one has a very small layer of filling. I'm sure that's because if you put a bunch in there and it gets compressed, it's just gonna explode. So they keep it really low amount of filling so that it stays together. It tastes just fine. Again, not my cup of tea. It's not the best thing in the world, but we'll give it a seven, a very solid dessert. So overall, what does this meal get? Well, I'm gonna give menu number 20 an eight. I think that's a pretty good score. It's got a lot of food. A lot of it is very good. None of the food was bad, and I think that's really important. There's nothing in this meal, aside from the coffee, which again is tolerable. If you need caffeine, you'll drink it. Nothing in this meal was off-putting. So menu number 20, hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions gets an eight. I really want to thank all of you for checking out the channel lately. We've been growing. It's been really, really nice. I've enjoyed doing these MREs. We are on number 20 of 24. Pretty excited to get to the end of this series. If you like the video, do me a favor, give a thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be absolutely sure that my videos show up on your feed, hit that ding dong bell and you will be the first to know. If you found us because of the MREs, make sure you check out our other videos. We got lots of great content. I got lots of cool stuff coming up, several trips that I'm excited about because it's finally starting to cool off here in Louisiana. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.